Assalamu alaikum learners. How are you all? Welcome to the third lesson of science. Our today's topic is what can living things do? For your today's lesson, you can refer to your science textbook, page 5. In this lesson, you will be able to learn, compare and list differences between living, dead and things that have never been alive. You will also create a checklist to define what some things must do or be in order to stay alive. Let's have a look at the keywords. Number one, move. Number two, grow. Number three, reproduce. Number four, breathe. And number five, nutrients. Let's brainstorm. What are living things? Take your time. Name some. What is a moving car? Remember we discussed about it in the previous lesson. A moving car is living or non-living thing. And do give me a reason why it's living or non-living. A moving car is non-living because it cannot eat or breathe or drink the batteries or the fuel help it move but it's not alive is an aeroplane a living thing no can you give me a reason why not yes because it runs on fuel too here is your textbook page five for your reference Sometimes non-living things can do things that plants and animals do, but they cannot do them all. Here you can see fire grows bigger, but is it living thing? No. A car can move really fast, but does it make it a living thing? No. A fire gets bigger, a car moves faster, but these are not alive. Clouds get bigger, some toys can move as well, make sounds, but these all are not alive. Think about what all living things need and what living things do. And then compare, do these things also do what living things do? Like cloud can also eat food or drink water? No, that's why they are non-living things. Living things grow from baby to a young boy, then a young man, then eventually you turn old. This is what happens to every living thing, whether it's an animal or a plant. Living things move. We walk, we run with our legs, animals move, some swim, some crawl, some slide or swing. Plants also have some movements. Their petals open and close. Sunflowers, they move according to the light of the sun. They face the sun in every direction. That's how plants move. Living things need food, that is nutrient, to stay alive. Even plants need water and sunlight to prepare their food to stay alive. Living things reproduce. Reproduce means they can have babies. So you are baby of your parent. You are now grown up, a young boy or a girl. In the same way, plants also have babies. We call them plantlets. And animals also have babies because all the living things reproduce. That means they can have babies. Living things breathe. They need air to breathe in and out to stay alive. Try to hold your nose and close your mouth for a moment. And see, can you really stay without breathing? No, because you are a living thing. 
Here is a challenge for you. What can living things do? Come on, name them. Move, eat, breathe, drink, grow. And when you grow, you change. So living things can do a lot of things. What can non-living things do? Can non-living things really do something? Think about it. What about a table, a book? Can they move on their own? Can they grow and change? No, because they are not alive. Describe the difference between living and non-living thing. Now, you are going to tell the difference between the two things, living and non-living. Pause the video here and take your time to answer these questions. Here is your challenge. Pick up anything around you and make a checklist. For example, I have here a picture of a rock and picture of a plant. Which one of these need food? And which one of these can grow? Which one of these need water? Choose anything around you and make a checklist of your own. Now, tell me what did you learn today? Can you compare and list differences between living, dead and things that have never been alive? Can you create your own checklist and define what something must do or be in order to be alive? If you create a checklist, do share it with your teacher in the next class. See you in the next lesson.